I will love you forever, whatever happens, till I die and after I die. And when I find my way out of the land of the dead, I'll drift about forever, all my atoms, till I find them again. I'll be looking for you every moment, every single moment. And when we do find each other again, we'll cling together so tight that nothing and no one will ever tear us apart. Every atom of me and every atom of you. We'll live in birds and flowers and dragonflies and pine trees and in clouds and in those little specks of light you see floating in the sunbeams. And when they use our atoms to make new lives, they won't just be able to take one, they'll have to take two. One of you and one of me. everybody to this very special occasion of Rosalind and Adam's wedding here at a, a very festive Stubton Hall. Now as you can imagine today generates mixed feelings for me although I'm absolutely thrilled that Rosalind has found her ideal husband I'm also tinged with sadness that she's now passed to the love and protection of another man. But that sadness is also combined with pride because, Rosalind, there have only been three times in my life when I've been left absolutely speechless. One was the moment I first laid eyes on your gorgeous mum all those years ago. Ah. The second was today when I saw you absolutely looking stunning in that beautiful wedding dress. And I'm sure we'd all agree with that. And the third time I was left completely dumbstruck was when you told me how much today was actually going to cost. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether your roots have so entwined together that it is inconceivable that you should ever part, because this is what love is. Love is not breathlessness, it is not excitement, it is not the promulgation of promises of eternal passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love has burned away, and this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find that they are one tree and not two. On behalf of Adam and Rosalind, I would like to welcome you all to Stubton Hall today on this happy occasion as we gather to celebrate their marriage. The place in which you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. The ceremony will be conducted in accordance with the civil law of this country, which requires both Adam and Rosalind to declare their freedom to marry before they contract their marriage before their witnesses. Adam and Rosalind. Your family and friends are celebrating with you today and will join with you in the solemnization of your marriage. They will witness your vows and promises and support you in your future life together. Adam and Rosalind chose this lovely venue as Rosalind's father has a farm overlooking Stubton Hall and she's grown up wanting to be married here. And that day has come. The couple are each other's first love which began at school 14 years ago. And they rekindled their love six years ago after Rosalind moved back to Rutland from university. 
they bought a house and built a life together and they now have two loved house rabbits called Alan and Barbara. <laughs> Marriage is a promise made between two people who love one another and who wish to share their future lives together. It calls for mutual respect, honesty, patience, and of course, a good sense of humor. It will provide each of you with the love, the support, the help, and the comfort you may need, both in times of joy and in times of difficulty. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring, and above all, a best friend. Adam Edwin Ellis and Rosalind Charlotte Francis are making a public declaration of their love and commitment to one another. A soulmate is someone who has locks that fit our keys and keys that fit our locks. When, when we feel safe enough to open our locks, our trust selves step out and we can be completely and honestly to who we are. We can be loved for who we are and not for who we are pretending to be. Each unveils the best part of the other. No matter what else goes wrong around us, with that one person we are safe in our own paradise. Our soulmate is someone who shares our deepest longings, our sense of direction. We are two balloons and together our direction is up. Chances are we found the right person. Our soulmate is the one who makes us come to life. When we met all those years ago, we had no idea that we would end up where we are today, not just as best friends, but as husband and wife. It means so much to me that I'm able to declare my love and devotion to you today. From this day forward, I promise to give you my heart and my life. I promise to encourage and support you to achieve all your dreams and wishes. I promise to support you through the good and bad, the highs and lows, and the ups and downs. I promise to remain forever faithful to you and spend the rest of our days together loving you as my best friend and my wife. Rosalind, I love you. When we first met at school 14 years ago, I was captivated by your kindness and your compassion, your intelligence and your thoughtfulness to always put others before yourself. Your love and strength have given me courage to chase my dreams and help me become the woman I am today. I desire nothing more than to share my future with you. Through all our triumphs and our challenges, our joys and our sorrows, I vow to make you as happy as you have made me. From today and evermore, I promise you support, loyalty and friendship. May we have many adventures and grow old together. I promise you, Adam, my soulmate, to love you for as long as I live. You have given your marriage, vows and personal promises to each other in my presence, in the presence of the registrar, and in front of your families and friends. So I am therefore delighted to announce that you are now lawfully joined together as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Congratulations. Ros, you truly look amazing and breathtakingly beautiful today. I can't believe how lucky and happy I am that I am yours and that you are mine. You are many things and more to me. You are my best friend, my wife, my love, my partner, and now also my family. In short, you are absolutely everything to me. wait to see what the future has in store for us and whatever comes our way we will be able to do it together as husband and wife. 
I was the happiest man alive when you said yes to marrying me on the shores of Lake Windermere and have been ever since. I know this is the start of many more happy years together and I'm so happy that I get to spend each and every one of them with you. I could go on forever, but words will never be able to truly express how much you mean to me and how much I love you. So ladies and gentlemen, if you could please be upstanding and raise your glasses to my best friend, my love and my wife, to Rosalind. Rosalind.